up guys, I'm Kel, Red Zone Rogue or Red Zone MTG, and today I have a Iconic Masters booster box opening for you guys. Just in case you didn't know, I did start a second magic only YouTube channel. Basically, what the gist of it is, is I'm going to post all of my magic related stuff on that channel, and then on this channel, my main channel, Red Zone Rogue, I'm only going to post like special box openings like this or like deck techs, stuff like that, or deck strategy videos or whatever, and then all of my random magic crap I'm going to put on the other channel so you forcible guys won't have to deal with all the magic stuff and the people who want only magic won't have to deal with force of will stuff i don't know how that's gonna work out right now i have one subscriber on that other channel we'll see how it goes out but regardless i'm pretty excited for this set actually um i didn't really give a shit about it at first but yeah i, I kind of came around to it it's kind of cool it's totally not iconic at all i understand they mean iconic meaning like dragons and angels and shit not actually like you know, a counter spell, like things that are truly iconic in Magic, but I don't know, it's all right. One thing to note before I begin though, that if I added up all the cards that I actually want from this set, it would cost less than the price of the fucking box. So with that said, I would advise you guys not to buy booster boxes because you lose money. It's really hard to make money on these boxes. I will probably lose money. I'll probably not get all the cards that I want, um, even though I only want one Mythic from the box, obviously. Mana Drain. And, yeah, man. Let's just see what we get. Let's do it. Iconic Masters. All right. We got the shrink wrap off. Got the packs right here. And, you know what? Without further ado, let's crack into the first one. All right. So, as always, when I crack packs, I'm probably just going to skip the commons for this set because you probably don't give that much of a shit about them. I'm going to lay out all of the, the really sweet rares here. Or just cards that I like in general. Or Mythics. Or anything like that. I don't know. I'm going to play it by ear. Let's do it. So we're going to kind of flip through these. Oh, mine sounds pretty good. You know what? I will stop. Dress is good too. There's a lot of like useful cards in here. Not a lot of like, you know, big heavy hitters. So we have Surreal Memoir. Enlarge. <laughs> big, big old kitty. We have Rift Bolt. That's a pretty good uncommon. Then our first rare. Nice. Oriok Champion. Um, I'll be honest guys. I, li I like the old art better. And then we have a full art shriek, or full art, foil shriek, guys, and a beast. This is a pretty good card. I'll, I'll leave it in my, like, my choice pile. Kicking it off with the good old Mana Leak. I mean, Mana Leak is a, you know, it's a pretty staple card. Sort of iconic. Got some uh, good old Bounce Land, is it Boilerworks? Blizzard Spectre, Palladium Mirror. And then a rare is, <laughs> we got Bulk Hydra. Nice, and we have a foil. Infantry Veteran Spirit. Good old Vent Sentinel enemy. And by good old, I mean not that, not that good. Uh, let's see. We got Lightning Helix. That's a pretty good uncommon. It's like a two buck uncommon. Not too bad. We have Cephalid Broker from like Torment? I don't know. Oh, Thrand Dynamo. This is a pretty good pack. Thrand Dynamo, Lightning Helix. Like, pretty good uncommons. And then we have a not, not so good rare with the Hypersonic Dragon. With a foil sign of Ugin, Ugin, and a dragon token. Yeah. Got a mnemonic wall, or mnemonic, as, as you would say. Uh, Mindstone. Mindstone's a good card. So we got Jungle Barrier for our first uncommon lure. Pretty classic card. Actually, kind of an iconic card. We got Bladewing the Risen, downshifted from rare. And then we have Simic Sky Swaller. God damn, this box has been really bad so far. Will get a strike. You know, I do have to say, I actually cracked two masterpieces, two, one from uh, Hour of Devastation, one from Amonkhet, in the last two days. So I was joking that this box would be like absolutely terrible because I used up all my luck. And you know what? It seems absolutely terrible. So yeah, I mean, uh, can't say that I didn't see it coming. We got an Ulcerate. Good old Orzhov Basilica, Mahamodi Jin, classic card. And then we have, god damn it. All right, so one of the worst mythics in the set. Cool card, very cool art. Let's take a look at that. Very, very cool, not worth anything. So yeah, I'm gonna full Is It Boiler Works? That's okay. I'm gonna put this here, but I'm not happy about it. Good old Diminish with another cat art. You know, pretty cool. <laughs> I like the cat art. It looks pretty good. So we have a Golgari Rot Farm. Bogru Witch, another Bounce Land, and then we have Kago the Tide Star. 
Pretty cool. I actually really like the new art on all of the dragons. Maybe foil, dusk, dale, worm. Yeah. Yeah, that's the sound of disappointment. All right, so dissolve. So far, we've gotten none of the cards that I actually want. And uh, <laughs> and our mythic is pretty bad. This is like the new Domri raid. If you've ever seen my other master set openings, I got a lot of Domri raids. Minecrank, Undercity Troll, Palladium Mirror, and a Grove of the Burnwells. Nice. That's our first actually good pull. Followed by an Iona's Judgment, which fantastic, fantastic artwork. So, yeah, pretty happy about that. The box is still young. There is plenty more bulk to get. You know, there's actually a lot of, like, useful cards in this set if you play Commander or mostly Commander. Uh, Sandstone Oracle, pretty good for Commander. Electrolyze, that's a, I like this card, good on common. Condescend, new art, I don't know if I like it over the old art. Crucible of Fire, I do like this card for Commander, but it is a strictly bulk rare. Foil Search for Tomorrow, also pretty good for Commander, but not a big money card. So basically I'm hoping to get Bloodgast, Thoughtseize, any of the uh, commands. Either the commands, this will be pretty good. We have this Murek Nightblade. Distortion Strike, that's actually not, not too bad of a card. Rift Bolt, it's okay. Lotus Cobra, that's a pretty good rare actually. I like the Lotus Cobra. We have a Foil Duress, fantastic card. Um, pretty cool getting the Foil one too. All right, flopping straight to the, I like this card by the way. In um, certain equipment EDH decks, it's pretty good. Being indestructible isn't too bad. We have Ajani's Pride Mate, another Bounce Land, Angelic Accord, and then Sarah Ascendant. That's an okay card. It's pretty good. Pretty sweet commander card. We have a Foil Haunting Him, which looks fucking awesome. And then a Beast. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Starting off strong with the Streak. Streak Geist? I don't know, man. I was going to say Streak Geist, and that's, that's definitely not what that is. Eight Teacher's Decree. Noxious Dragon, we're playing some fucking Dragons of Tarkir here. Rakdos Carnarium, and... Oh, nice! Austere Command. Very cool. I definitely wanted this card. And then we have a Foil Trumpet Blast. Actually a kind of iconic card, too. I love the new art on this, guys. Look at that. That's fucking sweet. It's so much better than the other one, too. Same with the... Same with the Cryptic Command. I really like the art on that one, too. Pretty sweet. Got a Thought Scour. You know what? We still haven't gotten our foil rare. I'm gonna be so pissed if we get the foil rare in this pack and it's like the fire main angel or whatever. If it's if it's a uh, cryptic command or something like that, you know, I will eat my words. Our rare is a Genesis Hydra. It's, a, it's an okay rare. We have a foil aerial predation. Spirit. All right, the box is still young. We still have a chance to come back. This card is actually a pretty cool... Oh no, this is not the one that I thought it was. I thought this is the one that gives you, uh... Infect. That one's sweet. That one, the Death Touch one? Not so much. Infect one. Sweet. Death Touch. Eh. Inspiring Call. Gutter Snipe with new art. I do like the art in this one. Gutter Snipe's a cool card. Another Angelic Accord and a Mana Drain. Charm Breaker Devils. And a Foil Mana Drain. Uh, Blizzard Spectre. And a Dragon. So we got no Bobbles. We only got two of the good uncommon so far, and a, a smattering of decent rares. I've seen this set be kind of boom and bust. Like some of the pat, or some of the boxes are nuts, and some of them are like super shitty. And we kind of got a super shitty one. A rare is Grim Cairns. Not too bad. It's like the worst one of all the lands, but it's not too bad. And we have a foil wrench mine. That is what I'm going through right now. I love this art of this angel though. Also, I love the art on this, too. It's like fucking bloody vampire stones. Pretty cool. Alright, guys. Getting kind of nervous. Will the box be horrible? Or will it be mediocre? Or good. It could be... It still could be really good. We have a bunch of packs left. This is a rare shifted down card from, like, M15. I want to say awesome artwork. Not a great card, but artwork is sweet. We have this commander card. And a Blood Baron of Vizcopa. Not a huge hit, but a pretty good card. Rare shifted down from Mythic. Oh, dude. It's a fucking sweet card. Foil Swords to Plowshares. And it looks awesome. Like, I have one of the From the Vaults Foil Swords to Plowshares with this art. But uh, none of the actual foiling. 
And these foiling is so much better than the from the vault foiling. So I'm really happy about this. I'm gonna put this with the sweet stuff. Got the classic and iconic Pentark Ward. You know, Pentark Ward. The iconic card. Everyone knows Pentark Ward. It's your favorite. We have Bubbling Cauldron, uh, Viz Copa Guild Mage, Trepanation Blade, and Necropotence. Fucking seriously, we got like some of the worst mythics in the whole set. I mean, they're good cards. Necropotence is a sweet card. I prefer the old art, good old skull, but man, we got a Timberwing Guide. Just, it's just so much disappointment. Good old repeal. That's it. It's actually like a legit good card. Like, it's like not said with any sarcasm. And I know that sounds sarcastic, but it's also not. We have a Mana Drain, Lord of the Pit, and then a Foil Borderland Marauder. Okay, we got seven packs left. We got some room, man. We have some room to get some cool stuff. Uh, let's go to the uncommons. We got this Forge Tender, we got this Battlements, which is not a great uncommon. Top and Free Blade, Free Blade, which I'm pretty sure was a common. And then we have a Thunder Maul Hell. Okay. So, okay. Okay, guys. This is our third mythic. And it's not a great one. <laughs> In fact, I already own copies, multiple copies of all these other cards. So, yeah. It's a good card. It's actually a really sweet card. But not the mythic we're looking for. And this foil claustrophobia is pretty cool. You can see, like, this sweet foiling on this dude's eyes. That's pretty sweet. Alright. Still got. We still got some packs. As long as we still got packs. We still got hope. I haven't got my foil rare yet. We have Great Teacher's Decree. We can get a foil mythic. It, it's in here, man. I feel it. I feel it. We got got this not great rare. And then we have a foil Colligan monument. All right. I can still feel it. We still got a foil mythic coming. All right. So, so far, I've gotten zero of the cards that I wanted. Uh, like, what did I say? Blood back. Blood ghast. Um, Thoughtseize. Cryptic Command. Oh, Teferi. I like this. Not a big, not a big money card, but I really like Teferi. I think he's a sweet rare. I'll put him in my sweet rare pile. And then we have a not great foil rare. Okay, so I, I, that pretty much nail, like, puts the nail in the coffin for this box, I think. All right, Hammerhand, and then a bunch of other stuff, including a Disenchant, which is a honestly an iconic card. We have the Viz Copa Guild Mage. Just move this shit out of the way. It's my first Mistress Bobble. All right. We have a good old Fear Bell. And then a Mana Drain. And then a Foil Mana Drain. Oh, we got two Foil Rares. Foil Rune Scar Demon. That's not a terrible rare. I mean, honestly, it's not a terrible foil to get. It's not worth a whole lot, but it's a fantastic commander card. And getting, like, foils of great commander cards is actually, actually pretty cool. I'm happy about this one. Alright, so I'm pretty sure I lost a lot of money on this box, um, which is fine. I basically bought it just to open up for you guys. Uh, I, like I said before, I could have bought every single card that I wanted for less than the cost of this box. But I think opening packs is cool, and I like, you know, like everyone else, showing you guys that buying boxes, not the best idea. Though it is fun. Towards the player shares, Horizon Canopy. Nice. I got a good hit. And then we have a foil uh, Foul Tongue Invocation. This is a pretty good pack. Like, so this is the second to last pack. I'm holding it upside down. And, you know guys, I have faith. This is gonna be a great pack. Let's be positive, because I kind of went into this being a little negative. And I mean, it's not. It's okay that these cards all suck. This card has sweet art, and Serum Powder is, uh, yeah, it's uh, Serum Powder. One more pack to go, guys. All right, so this is the last pack. Um, I'm gonna crack it in like real time and we shall see how good it is. It's probably not good. So let's flip through the back, see if we got some sweet stuff. <laughs> Starting off strong with a Murak Nightblade. And then a Sultai Flare. And then a Tavern Swindler. Alright. What color is it? Red. Okay. We got uh, Reuse Eye of the Falling Star. And then a Foil River Wheel Aerialist. Alright, guys, let's, uh, let's recap. Alright guys, so this is basically why you don't buy boxes. This was a pretty terrible box. Um, yeah, I'll be, I'll be pretty frank, I didn't get a single one. Well, I got Austere Command, okay. I did get Austere Command. So like the Foil Source of Plashers is, is pretty cool. 
not worth a whole lot, but it's sweet. Mishra's Bobble, we got one of those. Not bad. The Lightning Strike isn't too bad either. And Thran Dynamo. One of each of, like, the good uncommons from the set. Then this Foil Runescar Demon. Not too bad. It's, like I said, sweet commander card. It's not worth a whole lot, but pretty good. And then our Mythics were, like, actually terrible. They were pretty terrible. I mean, Thunder Maul Hellkite's the most valuable of them. Necropone's, like, what, a $5 card? But... Yeah, I mean, I'm very disappointed with these, but like I said, what, what can you expect? Um, we got three of the lands, and we got the two best ones. Grove of the Burn Wellows and Horizon Canopy. And the art is pretty sweet. Uh, is this Noah Bradley? Yeah, Noah Bradley. Does some, does some good work. So, can't be too bummed about this. I mean, these are the best pulls on the whole box, and the Graven Cairns is like, you know, it's a, it's a little bonus. Teferi is a card that I did want. He's pretty cool. He's not too expensive, like a five buck card. Uh, same with Austere Command. You know, cool card, not worth a whole lot. And then the remainders are just pretty good cards that see play here and there from, you know, Commander and various other things. M mostly Commander. I guess Lotus Cobra sees some other play. And so, same with Aria Champion, I suppose. Sideboards and, like, Modern or something. I don't know, guys. But uh, if you like the video, then leave a like. Comment and subscribe. Let me know if you like the magic content, and I will definitely have more. Probably not a probably not another box of this set because, man, guys, it's probably real hard to make money on this set. I paid 170 bucks for this box, and um, I mean you can see the results here. Have a good one, guys, and I will see you next time.